Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing the Open 4 Package Creator. All right. This is going to be a uh, pretty much uh, easy installation for us so we could um, make packages for all different types of scripts or mods and then just go ahead and make a package of it and double click it and just install it within a snap of a finger all right so this one right here is made by Felix Bartling all right that is the creator shout out to the creator of this right here um, what you want to do when you get down to this link is always read the description before you download any script or any mod as you can see they also have the requirements so make sure that you have the requirements as well after you're done reading all the description what you want to do is come over to the current and select the green arrow to download all right once you have this downloaded let's go ahead and jump into the requirements which will be open four okay you're going to need open four we will not be installing open four today but i will leave a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install open four if you don't have it already all right and also in this tutorial, I will be using EMF Easy Mod Folder. Um, I wouldn't say this will be a requirement, but I am just using this in the tutorial just to show you how to create a package with the Open4 Package Creator, okay? But I will leave a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install this as well, all right? And the last link that I have here will be the add-on Air Jordan uh, 5 right here. I mean Air Jordan 6, excuse me. Um, this one right here, um, we will be installing today. I'm going to make a open for package with uh, this right here. So I will leave a link in the description to these shoes right here as well. All right. So the main requirements that we are going to need for this today is, of course, the open for package creator. And... Um, open four as well okay so make sure that you have your um, open four package creator downloaded and your open four installed now on my left hand side I have an empty folder which is two downloads which is the Travis Scott um, by red those are the tennis shoes that I downloaded earlier and also the open four package creator all right now on my right hand side I have the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up. Now what we want to do is have a mods folder. So if you don't have a mods folder go ahead and create a folder and name it mods. All in low caps. Once you have that mods folder created what you want to do is come down to the update folder. And you want to copy the whole update folder. Alright make sure you copy it. Then go back to that mods folder that you had just created and open up that mods folder. Then you want to paste the update folder right there inside of your mods folder. All right. Once you have pasted your update folder inside of your mods folder, go ahead and open up your uh, your update folder and go to X64 and then DLC packs, and you should see all of your DLC packs here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and select uh, back. We can just go ahead and go back to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory right here. Now that we have our my, our mods folder created and we have our DLC packs in there, we are all good to go from there, all right? Now what we want to do is open up our open four. So go ahead and open up your open four. All right, I have my open four opened up right here on my right hand side, as you can see. And also make sure that your edit mode is turned on. It's going to be that little button right here near the top right of your open four. Select the edit mode and turn it on. All right, now let's go over to our downloads where we had our open for package creator. Let's go ahead and open up that folder. Inside that folder is going to be a setup um, for application right here. All right, so let's go ahead and double click on the setup. All right, so once you open it up, it'll be this box right here. Uh, what we want to do is select modify, and then it'll automatically be selected right here where it'll say main feature. And then go ahead and select uh, modify down here and grant it access by saying yes or selecting yes. All right, then I'll say open, open for package creator has been su successfully installed. All right, 
click finish and you shall see it on your desktop all right there will be um there should be a, a, a icon or a short um a shortcut that will be created right there on your desktop all right so after you're done with that installation right there you can go ahead and open it up just double click on it once you double click on it then uh this two windows will pop up all right there'll be a little message right here you can just go ahead and select okay now this is the main thing that we want to focus on right here you could also make um, open four packages for Max Payne 3, as you can see, um, episodes from Liberty City and Grand Theft Auto 4, all right? So since we're making this for Grand Theft Auto 5, we'll leave that checked, make sure that that's checked. And then also you have the opportunity right here to give your package a name. I'm just gonna name it Shoes, all right? You could also name it um, a different, like a version. You could give it a version name. I mean, a version name, but a version number, 1.1, uh, 1 .1, 1 1.2, you know, things of that type of nature. You could also um, label it stable, alpha, beta, or test, all right? I'm gonna leave it at uh, stable right there. Uh, once you're done doing this, you could uh, go ahead and select the next tab, which is up here, and uh, it is about the author. This right here is where you get to go ahead and put in your name all right I'm just gonna put in games graphics right there you also have other um, spaces where you get to put your action links where people could click on it and they could lead them straight to a um, website and you could also um, have a website here um, as well your Facebook Twitter YouTube and all that good stuff let's go over to the next uh, tab which is a uh, description right here this one is uh, very important so uh, say like if you're making a package for uh, other people and you want to instruct them to place it in their mods folder then this is where you could tell people to place it in the mods folder all right and uh, any other important information you could also place right here inside the description all right and it also has another uh, footer link that's which is optional in the footer link type uh, yeah footer link title all right and uh, next tab over is our optional description name of optional description and optional description down and you also have your footer link and footer link title as well all right next tab over will be the license so if you have your own license or if you're using somebody else's material or if you just want to give other people credit um, you can place it right here as well in the optional license part and the next tab over will be the design okay so you could also um, change the color of the background and place um, a design here like a little picture or your logo all right um, you could also use black text in the header as well all right so once you get done uh, doing all that you want to click the final tab which is files now this is where we are going to be creating our package at all right now from the root the root will be from the gta 5 directory all right so that's pretty much what the root is is the gta 5 directory so anything that you um, want to create a package for or anywhere that you are installing files in it will always start from the directory all right so what we want to do is install those shoes and i have it inside of my um, emf single player folder all right so you can just follow what I am going to do right now. Since I have it in my mods folder, I'm going to go ahead and open up my mods folder. And since my EMF single player folder is in my DLC packs, my DLC packs is inside my update. So now I want to start creating a path from my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. So I'm going to select root and then I'm going to select the folder, which is this little black icon. You'll see a little uh, box pop up right here. And what I want to do right now was name it update. All right, once I name it update, select submit. Now I want to go back over to my open four and I'm just gonna go ahead and select update and open up that folder. The next path I want to take is X64. So let me go back over to my open four package creator and select that black folder right there again and type in X64 submit and I'm just going to keep on creating this path DLC packs and I'm going to DLC 
see if it's select DLC packs paste the name of the folder that I want Alright, now inside this folder is an archive, so what I want to do is come up here and I want to select the archive icon. Alright, now I want to go ahead and name the icon, I mean name the uh, archive, excuse me. The archive is going to be dlc.rpf and submit. Alright, next one up is going to be another folder, which is x64. And copy, and then I need another archive. Select the archive icon and name it. All right. Then we want to create another folder inside that archive. So we're just creating a whole path to where I need my files to go, all right? So as you can see, I have created a path all the way down to where I want my files to go. I have started off at the uh, root, which is the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, all the way through to my DLC packs, to the DLC pack I wanted, and inside of that DLC pack, all the way to the specific folder where I want my files, all right? And as you can see right here, this is the place where all my files will go inside that folder, all right? So what I want to do right now is make sure that this is highlighted and I want to select add new file uh, the icon right here which is add new file select that the browser is going to pop up you want to go ahead and find the files that you want to um, install mine's is going to be inside that uh, new new shoe pack that we just downloaded uh, the Travis Scott by red let's go ahead and open that up the Jordan 6s um, all right now we're inside of it we're gonna go ahead and select this file and I'm gonna select one by one because we can't select multiple at one time so we have to just select one file at one time. Once we select it, make sure that the, the folder is still highlighted and we wanna add another file. And keep adding files all the way down. All right, okay. So once you have um, added all of your files and you're um, correct, you're sure that you got everything that you have um, installed right here, then we could go ahead and select create. All right, let's go ahead and select create. All right, once you select create, it's gonna ask you where do you wanna save it? Go ahead and um, select somewhere and remember where you are saving it at I'm gonna go ahead and pick the same folder where I have my two downloads and once you uh, select the destination you want to name your package so I'm gonna go ahead and name it shoes All right. select save once you select save there'll be a little window that pop up that says thank you for using open for package creator have a nice day go ahead and click OK once you select OK, the Open4 Package Creator window will close, all right? The program will close out. Once that program closes out, um, I'm going to go ahead and minimize, or actually I could go ahead and um, exit out of Open4 right now. And what I want to do right now is install those shoes, okay? Because we haven't installed those shoes yet. All we did was make our Open4 package. So I'm going to go ahead and find where I uh, saved my Open4 package, which is right here that says shoes. Now either I could drag and drop it inside of Open4 or I could just go ahead and double click it. Alright, once you double click it, this little window is going to pop up right here. 
and it's going to be the package installer window all right now whatever name that you put here is going to be here and uh, whatever whatever information that you put in the description is going to be here like I put place in mods folder all right and if you put a picture here it will be right here as well all right so let's go ahead and select install and then select uh, the mods folder all right and then uh, after that go ahead and select install After that, we are all good to go. Um, you will, you should get a, uh, you should get a note or a, not a note. You should get a notification saying that the installation has been succeeded. And then after that, um, if you click open installation log, you can see all the information of where uh, the files went and um, whatever that you installed, if it was installed successfully. So after you do that, you can go ahead and close out this window right here. Minimize any other window that we have open and run the game. All right, all right. Once you load inside of the game, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use menu so I can show you the shoes that he has right now. So, uh, let me bring him over here. We're gonna go into wardrobe and go on the front view. Scroll down to shoes, and I believe it was number 21. We're on 25 right now. Let's go down to 21, and there goes our shoes. All right. We got um, different shoelaces for them. And we also got different textures too. I didn't put in the textures. I just uh, went ahead and just did, you know, just install um, of just the shoes itself. But we also got different textures for the shoes too. There we go. Everything installed uh, just like we planned. That's cool right there. All right, zoom in on them shoes real quick. Yeah, oops. That's them right there. That is our Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott's right there. Get a picture of that. Yep. Selfie. All right. Well, folks, we're going to end it right here, man. If this helped y'all out to create your first OIV package, go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. Oh, Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And Shoot me. share the video with y'all friends that is in the modern GTA 5, y'all. This is Games of Graphics. Me and Big Paul, and that's Frank. We are out of here until next time, y'all. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.